Hi, physics class. This is the video solution to problem number six on our uh, Newton's second law worksheet. So here we're talking about a 10 kilogram bucket and it's being lowered by a rope in which there's 30 Newtons of tension. And it's asking us for the acceleration of the bucket. So again, first thing I want you to always do, let's do our free body diagram. And we have two forces on here. We have our tensional force in our rope, and it tells us that's 30 Newtons. And it also tells us that we have, uh, we have the force of gravity on here. And we know that I have a 10 kilogram bucket. So let's take that 10 kilograms, multiply it by the acceleration due to gravity on the Earth's surface, 10 meters per second squared. And we're going to come up with a gravitational force of 100 Newtons. So we know both of our forces and we know our mass. All right, so let's go through. So we can, we're gonna need to use our free body diagram. We're gonna find our, um, our net force. We're gonna add all our forces together to find our net force. And we're gonna see that our net force here is F tension minus FG. Remember, FG is pointed down, so we're gonna subtract it. That's a negative direction. 30 Newtons minus 100 Newtons. That's gonna give us negative 70 Newtons. Again, the negative sign here indicates that the force is down pointing down, so we gotta be careful with our negative signs. Now that we know our, our net force, we can figure out what our acceleration is using Newton's second law. Okay. So we're gonna take Newton's second law, F equals MA, F net equals MA. We're gonna rewrite it so we can solve it for A. A equals F net divided by M. What's our F net? Negative 70 Newtons divided by our 10 kilograms. That's going to give us a negative seven meters per second squared. Again, the negative sign indicates that it is accelerating down, which is exactly what we would expect from this situation. 